All right, guys, so as you can see, I've done a little bit of shopping the last few days. As I mentioned in one of my poll posts, which I post in the community section of my channel every now and then, I went and bought a whole new bunch of Mac configurations so I can test all of them. So I went and picked up the MacBook Pro. This is the eight gigabyte model from the store yesterday and the Mac mini arrived in the mail today. So stay tuned on my channel for a lot more videos coming out on these devices. I'm also waiting on a 16 gigabyte version of the MacBook Air so I can do some RAM testing. And I'm really excited for that one because I have a lot of questions that I want to be answered. And I'm sure you guys do as well. So what we might do first of all is let's check out this FLIR thermal camera because this is probably one of my most interesting purchases over the last few months and certainly in my YouTube career, if you can call it that, I suppose. Now, this is gonna be really handy because it's gonna let me get really detailed thermal readings off the devices. So if you guys aren't familiar with FLIR, they're a huge company. They do a lot of really cool products. And I think they're actually one of the best thermal imaging companies that you can purchase from. So very excited to get this bad boy open and test it out. Okay, so there we go, that's the packaging. And there is the actual camera itself. It's very, very tiny, it's not very big. Uh, essentially, it just plugs into the bottom of your iPhone and there's the actual thermal sensor or camera there. So what I'll do now is I'll actually set it up on my phone and I'll give you a quick look at it just to see how it performs right off the bat. Okay guys, so this is the Notorious 2017 MacBook Pro. This thing could seriously cook a strip of bacon if you wanted to. Now, if I hold the FLIR camera over the Mac, you can see it's definitely heating up right in the middle there. And that's obviously where the CPU is and it's about 30 degrees already. I've literally just turned this on. So yeah, very, very keen to do some thermal testing on this thing and see what we come back with. Also, just a side note, guys, the giveaway is going to be announced within the next week. I'm working on the video now, so I should have it to you all shortly. Again, you're all going to have the chance to win a brand new MacBook Air, so stay tuned. Now, moving over to the MacBook Pro, this one's actually really exciting for me because I've had MacBook Pros pretty much since 2011. I've been using them since then, but I've never had a touch bar model, so this is very new to me. And it's very exciting because I don't actually think I've even played with one at the Apple store before. So I'm very keen to see if the hype is real or if a lot of people are correct in saying that it's a waste of money and they prefer the actual physical keys. But I guess we are about to find out. Now, as I mentioned before, this is just the eight gigabyte version. I might purchase a 16 gigabyte version of the Pro as well, but honestly, I don't think there's much of a reason to do that. As long as I can get the eight and 16 gig version of the MacBook Airs, the performance differences there should translate exactly the same to the Mac Pros. And it's potentially even a more accurate test on the MacBook Airs because the Pros have fans and the fans can spin up differently in different temperatures. So it might actually be more accurate on the MacBook Airs anyway. So let's get this bad boy out. In the packaging, obviously, we've just got the typical charging cable and the charging brick, which is a bigger one. If you guys saw my MacBook Air unboxing, it, it comes with a tiny, tiny charger, which is really cute. But this one's a, uh, this is a big boy. And also the packaging. I wonder if the stickers here are silver, like the Air. Yep, they are. They are silver. Okay. So let's put this to the side. Okay, take off this packaging guys i don't know if there's something wrong with me but i absolutely love the smell of new max <laughs> like i know that's an insane thing to say but there's just something about it it smells awesome you can make fun of me in the comments that's all cool anyway let's open this bad boy up and it turns on straight away and there is the touch bar in all of its glory so like I said, guys, very, very keen to do some benchmarking on this, specifically thermals, because I'm extremely curious to see if the thermal performance of this, if there's a huge difference to the MacBook Air, because as you guys already know, it's pretty much the exact same processor. Like it's the same M1 chip. It just has one extra GPU core compared to the base. The main the key. Let's shut that for now. It just has one extra GPU core compared to the base MacBook Air. So it's going to be very interesting to compare the two and see where they stand. All right, next one. Now again, guys, super, super, super excited for the Mini. 
I've never personally owned a Mini before, although I have purchased a few of these at a previous job for a few of the employees working under me to use. Uh, and they seemed to think it was okay, but those were like the really crappy i3 models with the Intel chip. So this, the specs on this bad boy are actually exactly the same as the MacBook Pro. So you got the eight gigabytes of RAM, you got the M1 chip, the eight cores of GPU. This has a fan as well. So for a good six to $700 less, you are getting the exact same performance as the MacBook Pro. Obviously, you need to provide your own keyboard, mouse, monitor, but honestly, guys, I think most people already have that. So very, very keen to check this out, do some benchmarks, and this is actually going to be my main editing rig for the next couple of weeks. Like I said before, I'm swapping from Windows over to Mac in terms of editing and productivity, so very excited to see how this performs. Okay, so here we are. It's exactly as big as I remember. It's actually, um, when you first get one of these guys, it's a little bit bigger than what you generally would think it is. Like Mac Mini, you think it's going to be something tiny, right? Like a little Intel NUC or something like that, but it is actually quite large. It's still very sleek and looks great, but uh, it's definitely going to take some getting used to. And then obviously we just have the single power cable that comes with it, just plugs into your power source and that goes in the back. And it obviously seems like yeah, you have to provide your own additional cables, so HDMI, Thunderbolt, all that kind of stuff. Now guys, I've actually just purchased a 4K monitor to use with this Mac. I should be getting it any day now, and I'm gonna include a link to that in the description, and also a mini review, because it seems like it's gonna be Black Friday soon. I don't actually know the date of Black Friday, because I'm Australian, I'm not American, so it's not really a huge deal over here. I'm pretty sure it's this week though. So I'll try and get that monitor and this setup done before then. So if you guys do want to pick it up, you can get it at a Black Friday discount. So as you guys can see, I now have quite the collection of M1 Macs. This one's actually the older model of MacBook, which I'll be benchmarking against the new ones. I still have one more coming and maybe I'll pick up another one as well to do some more testing. Now again, guys, this is purchased with all of my own personal savings. So there's zero bias in my videos. I don't get sponsored by Apple or any kind of third party like reseller company to sell these things or spruik them. It's literally just my personal opinion. I do have Amazon affiliate links in my videos, but that's just for things like the external hard drives and the monitors and stuff that I use. And obviously you guys don't have to use them at all, but if you do, it's a great show of support and I really appreciate it. But again, totally don't have to use those. It's up to you. Anyway, guys, that's enough for this video. Let me get back to making some more videos for you. Any questions or comments, leave them below. But apart from that, I'll catch you in the next one.